Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you with another Cowboy Boots and Jeans video. Today we got a classic in the house. It's the Wrangler 13 MWZ Cowboy Cut Jean. And I got about seven or eight different kinds of cowboy boots so you can see whether or not this jean fits your style. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way Real quick before we start, check out this really cool shirt. Yeah, it's a Space Reaper. Yes, this is by Into the AM, who is today's sponsor. Into the AM is an apparel company focusing on comfort, style, and durability. And I love the feel and the fit of this shirt. It's super soft too. Check out all their designs on their website. And if you use my link in the description, you can save 10% on your order. Huge thanks to Into the AM for sponsoring today's video. Now let's try these Wrangler 13 MWZ cowboy cut jeans. Before we get into trying all these boots on with these jeans, I gotta get into the rundown. These Wrangler 13 MWZ jeans are 100% cotton and a 11 and a half ounce denim. They use U.S. fabric, but they are made in Mexico. These are particularly the trail dust color, and I wanted to expand because most of the jeans that I've been doing recently have just been regular old blue jeans. They're also a high-rise jean, and they have an outer seam on the outside of the leg for comfort. I know a lot of you guys who ride either horses or Harleys might like this a little bit better than when this seam is on the inside. Wrangler is really known for this, and I know that's why a lot of you guys prefer Wrangler jeans over several other brands. These Wrangler jeans also come in at $44 at the Wrangler website. Now it's time to try these jeans with a whole bunch of different kinds of cowboy boot styles and toe shapes so you can see which works best for you. We always start with the most round and work our way to the most square. So let's start out with some Justin Ropers. So here is the Justin Roper boot. This is a Roper toe and a Roper heel, so it is a classic boot. You guys all know the Roper. And it comes in at 10 inches tall, so it's a little bit shorter than a lot of the other boots that we'll be looking at. In fact, it is the shortest. And when you buy a 13 MWZ cowboy cut, usually you will want to buy an extra long pair. So if you're usually a 32, 32 size, you might want to buy a 32, 34 for that stacked look, right? Which is the extra bunching and bagginess that you get at the bottom. And the reason why you want to stack is so that the jeans don't come up when you sit down or ride up when you're riding. So the stack has its purpose. However, I've found that with shorter boots, especially with my body type, the 10 inch tall boots, 11 inch tall boots, it stops the stack right in the area where it bunches and it just makes it look sloppy. And that's what's happening here with these ropers. You can see it's stopping right there and then bunching to the side. So if you're a roper wearer, you might just wanna get your regular size rather than trying to go for that stacked look. Or you can get the jeans if you have just random ropers among your collection and then you can roll the cuffs up, right? And I know a lot of you guys out there watching just went, oh, I can't believe you did that. I hate when people roll their cuffs, but it's a much better look than a sloppy stack like that. I mean, you got to agree with that at least. So if you have a short boot and you run into this problem, either buy a shorter size and don't go for the stacked or you can roll up your jeans a little bit so the jeans evenly distribute across the top of that boot so it looks a little bit better. But now I'll show you what it looks like with a taller boot, a Hondo 2670 Uto. All right, here we have a Uto bullhide boot with a two inch heel on it. And this is a Hondo 2670. It's 14 inches tall. 
so much taller than the Roper and also the tallest boot that we're gonna be looking at today. And as you can see, the stacked look works much better with a taller boot. So this is where the stacked look really excels, at least in my opinion. Overall so far, I like the feel of these 13 MWZ much better than the 936 Cowboy Cut Wranglers, even though they are a little bit more high rise than I usually like. Um, I got high hips and my legs are really long, so it's very awkward sometimes for me to wear high rise jeans. Prefer the low rise. Now let's try it with a R toe or a medium round. All right, here we have a R toe or a medium round toe. This is a Boulet 7031. This is my oldest and most beat up boot. And uh, I think it's working really well with these two. I think that the medium round toe looks great. I really expect these jeans to go with every kind of boot style that we're looking at today. The only thing is what colors go with this trail dust color on these Wranglers and which don't. So I felt like the black did halfway decent with this trail dust color since it's kind of a grayish brown, maybe a little bit of olive green in there. It's not a true brown. Oftentimes I'm not a real fan of mixing browns and blacks, but because this is such a light color brown, the trail dust is the perfect name for it. I feel like it did okay with the black color boots that we just saw from the Hondo 2670, but let me know what you think of the trail dust mixed with the black down in the comments. We'll get another pair of black boots here in a second. But first, let's try this jean with a Jato cowboy boot. All right, here we have a Jato. This is a BNV water buffalo calf boot. And again, this is working so damn well. This is another tall boot coming in around 13 inches. It is also a more narrow shaft boot, so it works with lots of different kinds of jeans. And the Wrangler 13 MWZ is no different. I'm kind of digging this color combo too with the trail dust and the cognac down there. This is a win. This is a win. But what does it look like with a black cherry snip toe? Let's find out. All right, here we have a Yeehaw Cowboy snip toe. This is a black cherry Cayman tail boot. And uh, you know, I really don't mind this black cherry and trail dust color combo. I really don't mind it at all. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty halfway decent there, you know? Again, this 13 MWZ is proving itself with every type of cowboy boot that I've tried so far. Love it. This is a true cowboy boot jean. A lot of folks out there uh, will only wear this jean. I probably wouldn't wear this exclusively just because it's so high on me and kind of creates some bunching in weird areas that's very uncomfortable for me. So uh, I would prefer to wear some other ones on a regular basis. I like the Wrangler Retros a little bit better than the 13 MWZs. You can check the link out of that above. And speaking of links, if you like any of the boots that I'm trying on, each has their own video and you can see them all at the links in the description. Now I'm gonna try this jean with a French toe. All right, here we have a French toe. This is a Cayman belly boulet boot. And again, here it's a taller boot at around 12 to 13 inches. It does have a deeper scallop too. And it is more of a narrow shaft, which means that the jeans fit over top of it really well, as well as other jeans that I've tried with this boot before. The chocolate color works really well with the trail dust. And again, here it's a win. It's a win. Are we really surprised? Are there gonna be any boots that don't go with this jean besides for the shorter ropers? Let me know if there were any other than the roper or if the roper was the only one down in the comments. Now we gotta try it with a narrow square toe. All right, here we have a narrow square toe. This is an Ariat Legend boot. 
and it is again a taller boot at 13 inches tall but it is really wide in here so ariots are usually a little bit more spacious in the shaft and uh, you can kind of see that show through on lots of jeans. Here it's doing a good job covering it up. Again, we have another black boot here, and I don't hate the color combination. The trail dust and the black, I feel like it's going well together, but let me know what you think down in the comments of these narrow square toe boots. Now, we gotta try this jean with a double stitched welt wide square toe to finish things off. All right, here we have the wide square toe with a double stitched welt. This is a Stetson JBS lizard boot and wow, does this look good. Whew. I mean, these boots always look good, but this combination right here just looks spectacular. Again, we have a taller shaft here, around 13 inches, and just look at that beautiful blue there. If you haven't seen the video for this boot, definitely check it out at the link in the description. Love this boot a lot. It actually gets the most compliments of any of my boots. So these are being complimented by the jeans right now as well. <laughs> That's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what your favorite combination was and what you think of the Wrangler 13MWZ jean down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm doing videos like this very frequently. I don't know how many jeans video I've done, but it's not out of the ordinary for me to do videos like this on my channel. So be sure to subscribe. Huge thanks to Into The AM for sponsoring today's video. Definitely check out their website for some really cool, great fitting and feeling apparel. See you guys next time. Peace. If you're looking for the classic boot jean, look no further than the 13MWZ. Still the cut is kinda high, and it can pinch the guys. Some of you know exactly what I mean. Yeah. Thank you for watching today. Why don't you check out this video up here I did about the Wrangler Retro Skinny Jean with Cowboy Boots. Or I got a song down here that I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. I'll see you next time.